Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation of our paper, Enhanced Interactions for In-Car Voice User Interface with Gestural Input on the Steering Wheel. I'm Cui Zhitong, a PhD student at Zhejiang University. Voice user interfaces are becoming indispensable in-car for offering drivers the opportunity to make distraction-free inputs and conduct complex tasks. However, the reliability and control efficiency of today's VUI remain to be enhanced due to its sequential nature. A typical reliability issue of VUI is lacking the flexibility to control interfaces. For example, there are no shortcuts to perform familiar actions as interacting with a keyboard, which causes a reduction in efficiency. Also, VUI has not been well designed to help people recover from errors. Additionally, users lack support to reduce the cognitive load required to retain the critical information in voice outputs. Prior research has acknowledged that the steering wheel as a promising design space for enriched gestural interactions due to its easily accessible location helps reduce viral demand, thereby improving driving safety. Therefore, we see an opportunity to enhance the durability and interaction efficiency of in-car VOI by incorporating flexible gestural input on the steering wheel as a supplementary input channel. Here is an interaction scenario of our system. A user invokes the VOI system using a double-tap gesture and makes a request by saying, I want to buy two tickets to the Oscar cinema to watch the movie Mulan on Sunday at 8 p.m. Since this action would be difficult to undo, the system explicitly double checks by saying, All right, there are two reserved tickets in the Oscar cinema for the movie Mulan on Sunday at 8 p.m. Did I get the message right? Because the system misrecognized the words Sunday to Sunday, the user could correct the wrong word by joining the first letter S of it to select, and then respeak the word Sunday to let the system know. Then the system prompts again. Got it. That is Saturday instead. I have found the best spot for two people. Would you like to get these? Next, the user can perform a checkmark gesture to confirm the purchase. Then the system replies. It's done. Enjoy your movie. The above figure shows the user flow when interacting with a typical VUI system, consisting of five states. S1 to S5, invoking VUI, making speech requests, listening to response, confirming system inquiry, and correcting speech requests. Corresponding to different states of user interaction with VUI, we proposed novel interaction opportunities and gestural commands on the steering wheel aimed to supplement the durability issues in VUI with the enriched control of the interfaces. Gestural commands are listed in the table. Taking the state of making speech request, for example, speech command is poorly suited to fine grade and real-time control of continuous actions, for example, adjusting window height, or analog parameters, for example, volume or ambient light. Therefore, we expect gestures to fine-tune a parameter after the voice command has activated the function. To better understand driver's touch behaviors on the steering wheel while maintaining driver safety, we conducted a user elicitation study where participants were asked to create gestures for the above gesture commands during simulated driving. The left figure shows the distribution of touch locations on the steering wheel. Based on this distribution, the red figure shows the placement of our sensors to recognize gestures. This figure shows our elicited user-defined gesture site, which was developed in light of the most occurrences of gestures for each command. Leveraging what we have learned from driver's touch behavior, we implemented a proof-of-concept prototype consisting of two customized capacitive sensors attached to the steering wheel to recognize all the user-defined gestures. The sensors are flexible to adapt to the regular shape of the steering wheel and facilitate intuitive gestural input. We designed our prototype consisting of sensor A and sensor B. Sensor A recognizes sub-input, and sensor B recognizes index figure input. We use the classical two-layered row-column diamond pattern to fabricate the two sensors. Next, we developed a process library to convert the raw capacitance values into touch coordinates robustly, and then classified them into our user-defined gestures.
Finger A is the layer by layer materials of our sensors. Finger B, the most recent, our sensors are flexible to use. Finger C is a hardware circuit diagram for mutual capacity sensing. Finger D is the final prototype we use in the evaluation study. We then conducted a controlled user study to compare our system with conventional VUI based on three secondary tasks in a simulated driving environment. In the primary driving task, we utilize the line change test to test driver distraction caused by in vehicle secondary tasks. To provide consistent primary task workload, participants were instructed to change lines immediately according to signs on both sides and perform good line keeping. We designed three secondary VUI tasks, fine-tuning the eye beam light, listening to a message, and buying movie tickets. Participants conducted this task in two interaction conditions. One interaction condition is using conventional VUI. The other is using VUI plus our gestural commands and user-defined gestures. Then, we evaluated our system's durability regarding driving performance, interaction efficiency, cognitive workload, and user feedback. We used the line change test to measure joint performance, and results indicated that performing gestures while steering may slightly affect the joint performance than just using the UI, without bringing about a significant reduction. We also measured interaction efficiency, and the results demonstrated that our system significantly improves the control efficiency of conventional VR. Meanwhile, results from NASA TLX questionnaire showed the overall cognitive workload was reduced with enriched gesturing control of interfaces. We envisioned that our work could support drivers to conduct more complex tasks by integrating these modalities in the car. I'd like to thank all my collaborators who contributed along the way. Thanks for listening, and please refer to our paper for more details.